Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Today guys, if you've seen my Blitzwing review, you'll know that I was talking about doing this Octane review. And you know what? I'm. It may not sound like it, but I'm equally excited to bring this one to you guys. Because, like Blitzwing, I've looked forward to having Octane. Um, you know, I have the the uh, Chaos and Velocitron Optimus Prime, and I also have the Nemesis Prime, or as I like to call them, the Scourge version of this mold. So, to actually get the figure that this mold was intended to be originally, it's kind of exciting. <clears throat> now, one of the things that this mold has that the other ones do not is this rifle right here. And from, I mean, from what I know of uh, the original Octane, this rifle I mean, it's it's pretty much it's 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 pretty good representation for Octane's rifle. Now, the one thing that did carry over was the Titan Master uh, weapon that they could sit in, and this is based off of the G2 Laser Prime's uh, weapon. If you see on on Scourge, he has the same identical weapon. So, nothing new and fantastic there, but hey, I'll take it nonetheless. And while we're talking about the Titan Master. This one is Merc. Uh, so for Octane, let's see here. Kind of get a little. So yeah, he kind of looks <laughs> strange with just a purple head, but you know, overall decent sculpt. Um, I like the the differences in, in some of these um, Titan Masters that we're getting. So, and of course, there's Octane's head. So that aside, <clears throat> now that we have the tanker all kind of cleaned up with all the accessories off of it, where it's just the, the vehicle by itself. I have to say that I love the color scheme they're going for. So, I mean, it's a very good representation of the 80's Octane. And when we get around to the back here, you'll notice these little bits that are, they're basically the wing, uh, the wing tips uh, for his airplane mode. Now on Scourge, you'll notice, and this goes for, for Optimus Prime version too, the wings are kind of tucked up in there. The reason why is these wings are actually different from the ones that were used on this mold. These are actually a little bit more, uh, they're lengthier and they're not chopped off, so to speak. And you'll, you'll kind of see that when we get on to later on, but because they are longer wings, they do actually stick out the end of the tanker mode. Now for me, I, that doesn't bother me. I mean, it really doesn't detract from it all that much. I mean, can you can you tell? I mean, it's not that terrible. Um, but again, I and these decals, I love that how they were able to tie all these colors in together with this stripe going down the tank, and of course the Decepticon emblem there. And if we swing around onto the other side, uh, and you know, just the the mirror image of it. So, um, and what's interesting is, is, is with the way this mold is, you can't put the Titan Master in the cab. But, what they did do, is you can take your Titan Master, and if it's in trunk mode, the Titan Master will sit this way. Well, in airplane mode, and I'll show it off again, you actually flip around and, and the front of the airplane will be down here. But, since we're going tanker mode, you just plug Merc right in there like that there you go and he's stored away so I mean it rolls pretty nice I, I love I mean I, I just like semi trucks so anyway to have a tanker truck like this and to actually be the character of Octane I'm, I'm so I'm just I'm chill with it you know let's go ahead and compare him a little bit more and um, I love the Scourge version of this mold. It's <laughs> it's really kind of cool. And what's what, okay? So what's funky about this is what becomes the shoulder cannons on Scourge are just shoulder pylons. They on this one, and I don't know what it is, but if you notice, and maybe it's just mine, but you notice on Scourge his cab mode comes together and holds together a little bit more, whereas there's kind of some spaces on on. Uh, Octane over here, and I don't know whether that's because they changed this a little bit uh, or what. Maybe uh, as I mess with it a little bit more, it'll be a little bit more easy to um, uh, to snap together. But as of right now, the first time transforming it in truck mode, it's 
not <laughs> not coming together as much as I wish it would. So anyway, uh, let's do a little bit of a comparison with Sentinel Prime, or as the other version of this mold is used, basically Astro Train. So definitely longer, um, and if you count the fans, definitely taller. But uh, I don't think that the Sentinel slash Astro Train mold was as well thought out as this one. So I definitely like the Octane mold, Mo mold better. Octane, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's getting late, guys. I mean, anyway. So, alrighty. Well, we will move on to this guy in his airplane mode. Alrighty. Here we are in his airplane mode. And you know what? I really love it. I think it is such a vast improvement over the previous uses because they've changed the front. Well, rather than just saying, look at the differences. This is more like what you would see on a private jet, and this is more of what you would see on an actual airplane, like a passenger airplane. Plus, the wings are great refinement because you look at the ones on 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 him, and again, they're they're the same on on the other versions of Prime. But the thing is, is they're just short, stubby, and just kind of very blocky. Where on here, they're a little bit longer and a little bit more swept back, and. That is what helps with the whole aesthetic of this plane because before, uh, if I can raise up the camera here, on on Nemesis, it just made the whole plane mode look just kind of funky, like it didn't quite work. It just uh, and so what I would have to do for him is I would always flip these around. Because not only would it help with the overall look of the vehicle mode, but it would help cover up the tops of the uh, the windows, which kind of give it away. It wouldn't, and the grill now looks like it's just jet engines. And so it would help with the overall look of how this looks because the wings, like I said, they, they just were short and stubby and you have to flip them back here for it to help give a more convincing illusion of, of a jet. Whereas on this one, even though you can still see the windows back there, it just kind of visually, it, it's kind of like, like, you know, the TARDIS, you ignore it. And you still see these down here and these look like jet engines, much like on this. And like I said, the, the windows, I don't, I don't even really notice them. I mean, I, I'm looking at them right now and I do notice them, but you could just, your eye tends to visually just ignore them. And so anyway, I mean, I could put the wings back farther, but I think they look good as is. And because of the way this transforms, you have all the wheels from the tanker mode underneath. So this thing does roll pretty well for, for a plane. So, and it's the same, same with Nemesis. So, anyway, just a little side note that I thought I'd bring out there. So, I mean, I think that this, this is just, they upgraded it, and it looks so much better. Now, if you noticed, I had this popped up right here, because what I've done with his headmaster is I've already have his, his headmaster facing the forward part of the, part of the plane, but I did not change Merc. So, let's go ahead and take him out. See, he's still facing the other way. Just turn him right around, and boom, there he is, good to go. Anyway guys, I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a comparison between these two, but for something a little bit different, let's go ahead and bring back in Sentinel Train. You can kind of see the difference here between an Autobot Shuttle-esque vehicle and the airplane. See how they stack up to each other in vehicle mode. And so, you know, why Sentinel is a little bit, uh, I feel a little bit smaller. It's just probably, you can't really see it. <laughs> it's just probably because of the wings. Overall, he's wider and fatter, whereas uh, Octane's a little more condensed. So, anyway, already, um, yeah, I have to say, I think I like this equally uh, as much as truck mode. Uh, if you wanted to, you still could go ahead and take the same dills and attach them on the side, although I think it kind of junks it up a little bit. Uh, but anyway, so that'll do it for this vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like in his glorious robot mode. And so here we have Octane in his robot mode, and I gotta say, I'm digging it. Uh, I, You know what's weird? I think I like him a little bit more than Blitzwing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just 
I mean, because overall, his, all three of his modes are really solid. Um, you know, having seen them before, uh, especially, you know, in uses like, like with the, the Nemesis Prime mold and, and, and uh, I just think it's overall it's pretty awesome. So I love the wings. I think the wings are, are what help give it um, that little bit of, I, you know, I don't know why. It's just a weird fascination with mine. I just think that characters with wings on their backs, it makes them look more imposing. It just helps them look cooler. I think that's probably why I like it so much. Anyway, one of the features that was left over from this iteration of the mold, as you can see on Nemesis, ah! Now he has, uh, you know, a bigger Prime-esque head, which they're not changed on him. Uh, strangely enough, and you can kind of see that it's still the, the Prime. It, it doesn't really do anything because his headmaster sits in there and there's a gap. I mean, true, there's a gap for him, but, you know, at some angles it helps blend. I mean, I guess it kind of does the same, but it doesn't make any sense for him why he would have these, like, Prime-like antennas. Now, I saw on the show that uh, like a lot of his package art and stuff from, for, and other comic iterations don't have him with anything, it's just, just this. But in the cartoon, he had like these little collar things that were about this high. Which, I mean, okay. I, you know, it, it, whatever, hey, I, you know, oddly enough, even though it is prime antennas, I kind of like it. It's weird, but hey, whatever. Um, and if we're doing that, since I forgot to do it in his review, Let's take a look at Blitzwing. Oh, look at that. You know, hey, whatever. Um, doesn't do that much. Cool. And if we're doing it, let's just go ahead with our Blitzwing, or I'm sorry, not our, Blitz, our Astro Train stand-in, because it kind of gives a more of an Astro Train look anyway. So, uh, but uh, aside from all of the glorious antenna or pylon pop-ups you can handle. Uh, again, here he is with the standard Minicon weapon. Or mini Minicon, jeez. <clears throat> yeah, that's a throwback to another day and age. The Titan Master uh, weapon. So you could have any little Titan Master you wanted to sit in there. And his glorious rifle, which we'll go ahead and take a look at. Oh yeah. I'm digging it. Now the only thing that, that he didn't have in the cartoon was these um, shoulder pylons, which you could go ahead and put them down, but whenever his arm comes back to a certain degree, it does start hitting against these wings. Like, let's just see how it looks. So you can kind of see that, that if your wing's sitting there where it should, eventually he can't raise his, well, I mean, it, it does, but then he, it starts rubbing on the, on the stickers and kind of pushes these back and stuff. So, I mean, it is possible if you want to do that. But for some reason now he's less imposing. I think those shoulder pylons actually help with what he has going on. But uh, anyway. But uh, aside from that, we'll go ahead and put those back up real quick. Oh, and while we got this one popped up here, you can kind of see all this this detailing that they had because for the for the prime and, and the scourge molds, they had the cannon. So you can see how they've kind of remolded that a little bit, even though it's just the top part of the cab. Um, on this, obviously this window was colored in, this wasn't, so. Anyway, just small little differences that I think are cool. Aside, you know, you look at the chest too, how that was remolded from the grill to, to what you have here. So, I mean, they, they definitely went in and added, they, they made sure that this would stand out as uh, Octane, instead of just a straight up, you know, third release of the mold or fourth or whatever version this is. Definitely the best with the adjustments they made. So, already, well, we, we went ahead and we shown him with him, so we'll go ahead and bring back in. Here he is with basically Astro Train, and here he is with Blitzwing, so you can kind of see that um, he's actually shorter than Astro Train slash Sentinel Prime, and he is actually shorter than Blitzwing, oddly enough. Yeah. I, I don't know why, hey, but whatever it doesn't matter so there you have the original decepticon triple changers all together and i have to say you know what i wouldn't mind putting them or displaying them like this that's uh 
I'm, I'm down with it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. This has been a review of Titan's Return Octane with Titan Master Merc. And anyway, guys, I just want to let you know, uh, please look forward to a bunch of new reviews coming out in the future. And uh, we will see you next time. Peace out.